Oh, hello. Nice of you to join us. Um, right, so where are we on this? Well, I spent yesterday kind of getting caught up. What we've done is we have forged up all the bolts. We had these forged up and I actually had to use them on another project. So I've had to make another 18 of these, which I did yesterday. We've also made up the washers. Um, which we talked about. So they're made, we've given those a little, a nice forged finish and a little bit of hammer texturing. But, okay, just let me cut that. So, what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna just go over these butterflies and just kind of tickle them a little bit, um, just to make sure they sit really nicely, do a bit of kind of cold forging just to get these to kind of fit nicely. Then the whole thing needs a sand and we're gonna fume it. Um, we're gonna stick a bag over the top of this, probably made out of some of this plastic we've got here. Um, seal the ends, stick the bag over the top of this and let it fume overnight. So, that's what we're gonna do today. Bomb. feeling. Oh no, that's all right. Okay, I thought that was going to go ping. Is that the first time you've taken that off? Yeah. Mm. Bit of a risk as well. I'll tell you what would be quite cool. Set up the camera for the next one and do it in super kind of fast Okay, that's all our bits and pieces. Right, uh, where are we? We're going to do um, sanding. Hey, sanding. Hopefully this should be just like a tickle over the top. It shouldn't be the kind of big, long, involved, vibration white finger thing that we uh, have known to come and love. That needs to stay on. Those can come out. Sorry, camera boy. Always in the way. Just trying to get the best shot. Screw your shots. Here, camera boy, make yourself useful. Stand on that. Good. Well, let's hope this is the final sanding. Probably suggest not doing this. A6 all the hay, I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball the days. I'm flipping the balls, I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it on record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin' on record off record deals. Tell them talk to column for the quote on record off record eyes. Well, uh, we've got that kind of sanded. 
I loathe sanding. Have I, I probably haven't said that enough. You could go on and on and on with this. I mean, it's chewing through the discs. Um, you know, you come across something like that and it just ruins the edge of the pad. We're at 80 grit. I mean, usually with oak, I mean, if you want to really, if we're going to wax this, for example, this wouldn't be a good enough finish. I'd probably want to go to 240. We've decided, uh, camera boy and I have sat and kind of talked about the finish and one thing and another, even though he's a cameraman and not really a carpenter or woodworker. So why I'm really asking him, I don't know. I should be telling him. Anyway, um, we've decided what we're going to do is a traditional finish. We're going to use some ammonia and we're going to fume this overnight. Um, so we're going to get loads of variation in this. I think what you'll get is like all the way from kind of really blonde all the way through to like walnut black. So it should be quite interesting. It should take it really well. Again, it's in keeping with our finish that we want to achieve this thousand year old look. Let's call it 2000 years old look. Let the ammonia do its thing. So uh, that's the next move. Let's go. You want to, uh, I think I might need your help. You need my help? What yeah. for? Uh, we're just going to pop this over the top of the throne and uh, fill the trough. Oh, so you need my help now? Well, would like it. Would like it. But not need it. Oh, okay. So this is just ordinary household ammonia essentially we all we're all familiar with it it's got that strong kind of wee wee smell um, this is quite a you know corrosive and all sorts of other stuff so I would recommend that uh, first off that you don't do this secondly that if you do you take far more precautions than I'm doing here but really all I am going to do is undo the top here and fill our trough that's our trough full of ammonia. We'll pop that down there. We'll cover this up. And how long are we leaving that? Um, this stuff, first off, isn't as strong as the stuff we were using commercially. So what I'd say is overnight, really. We're going to leave ours overnight. We'll be back at it at eight o'clock tomorrow morning and we'll see where we get to. That should have given it a really nice kind of dark hue, at which point we're ready for the next stage. Now, I don't... I can't do tomorrow. I've got a meeting in the morning. What time? Uh, nine until probably... What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've a got, meeting? I've got other stuff. But this is 19 hours of fuming, Mark. I know. Oh, it's fine. It can be 19.1 hours. Well, it can't. Can it be more? It can be as long as we like. I mean, it, knowing that, I mean, what we'll probably do is I'll... Just um, come and check on it. Yeah, just come and check on it. I mean, I'd love to pretend that you can almost see it happening now, but I really don't think you can. There it is. Yeah, so we can make them look like that. You know what you're doing? Yeah, let's have a go. Go! Two weekends ago I went to a car boot sale, or probably what is maybe better known kind of internationally as a flea market, and there was an old gentleman there and he had this ice cream tin full of um, bits and pieces. These are kind of like nice dome-headed coach bolts. Um, I've already popped one of those into the forge and had a little go at it, and this is what they come up with. Now these, luckily, came with a probably a handmade nut but kind of probably more importantly they also came with these quite cool washers so that saves us a little bit of time I don't think it detracts from the finish so, so but you could say well hang on a minute you know you made the handmade rivets you know why aren't you making these bolts well I do think that look is very much in keeping with um, what we're trying to achieve here I mean I suppose you could also say that really these are scrap, these were scrap. So it is quite cool because we are still going to be kind of, I suppose in a way, upcycling these if you want to call it that, or certainly recycling them into use. They're forged, they're good quality items, and we're going to put them back to use. And um, hopefully kind of, you know, in a more decorative kind of element. So let's go, let's see what finish we can get on these washers first. Then let's have a go at kind of cleaning up a few of the heads on these um, bolts and see where we end up.
So yeah, we're just going to run the same process for the the bolts. I actually like those domes, mate. I re I think I don't think we should mess with those too much. I think when they're polished up, let's just let's just stick those in. I don't think they're going to look rustic enough if they're all domed. They're going to look too manufactured. Have you got a tester that you can do? Well, we've got this one which has got the facets on it, and what we'll do is we'll clean one of those up and uh, without the facets on it and see what it ends up like. We've been in the workshop for the last hour and we just thought before we were going to call it a day today we'd pop out and just see how the fuming was getting on. Um, we're both quite amazed at how quickly it's progressing considering this is just kind of domestic ammonia. So I think what we're going to do um, really is a kind of experiment because this whole thing is in the kind of, what would you call it, um, uh, in the spirit? It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this being in the spirit of a kind of experimentation, let's have a look and see how much of a reaction we've had between that ammonia and the tannin in this oak. Oof. I'll let camera boy in here to have a little kind of nosy and see what he thinks. But I mean, that's had a huge effect already. just the leaves. I thought it was a rattler. <laughs> it's not. It's just the leaves.